okay welcome back to the second part of this tutorial so what I will do now is let's start with the coding so we double click on the form right there scroll right up here and here we press enter right underneath here and enter the following lines of variable or the following variables and here those are for my calculator this is just for the tax and this is for the Y and here those are for my currency converter okay the next thing I will do now is to select all of my number buttons select it all and then add an event right there can you see that I'm going to be using click or button click let's just call it button underscore click so which means when I click on any of these button it will take me to that very event okay so that's button click event right there so I will now enter the following lines of codes okay so what will happen is if I click on my button any of those button right here so I should be able to enter any number I intend to num enter okay you see that guys okay but the clear is not working this is not working none of those work for now so let's go back so one part of the calculator is taken care of now with the operators select all of those and just maybe give them a name now change the events maybe I just call it calc underscore operators there that's the name for that double click on that and there they are I will now enter the following lines of codes for the operator and right here that is the new method created for the operator so that will send whatever information straight into my display Okay, the name of this very display that is it right there lbl display okay and underneath i within in there i also have another display let me show it to you guys i've called it lbl show calculator that's it right there so what will happen is if i run the program press whatever number and press any of that that's what happen so let's go for we need to get the equals button working as well so the next thing is double click on the equals button and enter the following lines of codes using select case that is the equals let me move that up so that you guys can see it okay i believe you can see it now so if i run the calculator now maybe five plus three there or divide by six all right okay but the this is not working yet clear is not working and this is not working so let's take care of those close that come in here okay the next thing is to take care of the backspace those are the lines of code for the backspace and then double click on uh, the decimal place and enter the following lines of code for the decimal place so I have the decimal here I have the backspace there so let's take it up so that you see how the codes again that's for the equal sign and here that's for the operators and these are for the plus for the number buttons sorry so if I run the program now, we can do whatever we want with this calculator right now. Oh, the clear button is not working yet. So let's take care of the clear button itself. Let's copy this. Come in here, double click on the clear. Paste that in undo. We only need just this might as well just type it lbl display dot text equals clear and followed by lbl 
then show the text equals client and uh, LBL display itself the text let's enter back the there's a zero in there and all that's it so the clear button is now taken care of so if we run the program let's see all right so let's run it again and see this okay multiply by nine all right that's not looking too bad that's good so what we now need is to take care of this now we need to be able to drop this down and click on combat so let's do that so the name of this button is very important that's the name right there get the name straight come up here double click on this and just say that dot visible equals force alright there that's taken care of I'm going to copy this as well come in here double click on this itself paste that in there make it force and come back here let's go for maybe standard to give it back the and change this to true or maybe change this name change this to something else close close currency currency converter all right that's the name of that that will close this close currency converter we double click on that that's close currency converter that becomes true all right okay that's fine so if I try it out let's see how it looks I can close it and I can yep that's fine close that is fine so working as expected so these are not working yet all right so we need that we need this one to work and the other to work so let's come back in here see what will happen okay so the calculator is working we need to take care of the converter so let's do that now this is not working yet as well so that can be easily taken care of double click on this and just enter that in there so that's taken care of All right okay the next thing for me to do now is to make sure this combo box is populated so I will then double click on the form itself and right here enter the following lines of code that's for the combo box that will take care of the currency converter okay so if I run it there those are the countries that I would like to convert okay so the next thing I will do now is uh, okay I now need to this is not working yet that's supposed to close okay let's minimize that come back in here double click on this and that is close it's supposed to be true okay I think I must have entered the wrong code in here yeah that's false that's why it's not closing all right so hopefully that's taken care of now move this back there so now let's run it again and see so we can open we can close all right so let's double click and go back in there because uh, this very we need the date the time okay let's take care of the date first let's copy that so double click on the form right underneath here i'm going to enter the date so first thing is let me declare create a new method for dates okay that's it so let's call it i date or maybe here i date equals date dot now all right that's the date there so i'm now going to use that as saying all that dates this very text box that's the very text box there that's the name all the date i also need the name of this as well i might as well copy that now okay back in here dot text equals i date right there i date dot 
set to string okay now I want it to be date slash mm slash okay that should give me the format for my date okay so if I and repeat the same thing for the time I date dot to string so that will give me enter the speech mark in there and come in here and H capital H lowercase m and seconds okay if you look at the format look at the date let's look at the date lowercase dates uppercase M lowercase letter wise let me run it before we have a go at uh, changing it again can you see that so that gives me today's date and the month the year and that is the time right now so if I close this supposing I decide to change this let's change it and see what will happen so let's change that and see can you see that I still have my I still have today's date the month and just the year it's not giving me the 2015 so and that is why let's see if I increase that to 2 let's see what will happen the same thing so let's increase it back to 4 Y's with 4 Y's I end up with the right date okay the seconds let's delete this and see what will happen and that is that the second is gone but it looks better with the second on so i can undo and just leave that there okay one other thing that is left for me to do now is to enter zeros in this instead of uh, yeah let's enter zeros in there so double click on the form load again come right here and just enter the zeros there they are so if i run the system they say standby zero in there apart from this one that is missing a zero let's come in here i think that's it it is change two let's change that to number three and just run it again and there so they all have zero in place so that will prevent it from having an error okay so what is now remaining is for me to reset click on the reset button and make that work so with the reset button i just need to double click on this let me just enter this as well okay so we set it back to zero and we need the name the name of all of these components i need the name of these so we have to clear that the text equals clear all right so just copy that and change the number around because i have three of those in there so this becomes two and this becomes three there so we need that off we need this very one get the name text equals the tax and the text as well okay one more the last one that is the total and the total and then okay copy and paste that in there okay that's taken care of we need to take care of the names as well because we might want to change all of this yeah let's do that is that there? Paste. I need two more for the telephone number. Copy that name. Paste it there. Now I need the reference number. And paste that in there. Okay, with that, with that done, I've taken care of all of the reset button. So if I run it, well, whatever data enter in here let's say we enter name in there telephone number reference actually I would like the reference to generate itself so if I click on reset that it is working as I expected 
okay that works as well so with that I'll just call it the end of the second part of this tutorial and see you in the final part of this tutorial